Hey guys, one Klo here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a very really good day. In today's video, we want to finally take a look on how you can onboard your Mary IoT Bro One gateway onto the Things IX network. So let's get started. <laughs> Before we can actually start to onboard a Brovar Mary IoT hotspot to the Things IX network, we need to have a server maybe in the cloud or at home that is capable of running the Things IX forwarder. The Brovar Mary IoT hotspot has a multiplexer built into it, but we need a forwarder that we cannot run on the device, unfortunately, to actually forward all the traffic to the Things IX router. So therefore, I use a VPS, and in this example, I use Linode. If you don't know what Linode is, Linode is basically a VPS provider. Therefore, you can host instances and virtual computer in the cloud without the need of having the actual hardware. If you use the link in the video description down below, you get a bonus of $100 for the next, next 60 days. And this is totally for free for you guys. So what I have done is I've created one of the smallest sizes of VPS on Linode. Therefore, you just need to log in, click on create Linode and choose the operating system that you want to use. In this example, I want to use Linode, uh, Ubuntu 22. 04 LTS and I select the region and under the shared CPU we select the nano this only costs five bucks a month so if you plan on running your forwarder in the cloud you have to pay nothing for the next 60 days if you use the link in the video description and afterwards it just costs you five dollars per month to run this what you need to do then is give this one a name and set a strong password that you can remember after you've done so you need to check the IP address that you can find normally up here. What you need to do then is you need to log in via SSH to this actual server. Therefore, I use PuTTY, but you can also use the normal Windows or Linux common shell. So we have created this Nanode and we have booted it up. Now we need to get the IP address and log into this via a shell. So I use PuTTY in this example. You just need to use the username root and the password that you have set. Afterwards, what we can do is we can go over to my GitHub repository and in here you will find a command that we can simply copy and paste into this. We just paste it in here and it should open up the toolbox. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to run the command number one. And the first thing this is doing is it is actually downloading the latest version of Docker. It is installing this. Afterwards, it is proceeding with installing the Docker container for running the things IX for order. You just need to give this a couple of seconds to proceed. If this is not working for you, I suggest you to run a sudo apt update before you actually use the script that I provide in my GitHub repository. Now, as you can see, everything should be up and running. Now that we have done so and that you have used the version number one, we can actually go ahead into our Bro One Mary IoT dashboard or the actual hotspot. So here we are in the Mary IoT dashboard. What we're gonna do here is we click on network server and in here, what you need to do is you need to put in the server IP address of your Linode server that you have created and where you have installed the script for the port number, you put up 1685 for that port up and for the port down, you choose 1685 as well. Afterwards, you click the enable button and then you click on apply. Then we can come back into our terminal and in here we can CD into the folder Etsy things IX forwarder and we can do a LS in here to see if we actually get our unknown gateways. We got this file and what we can do next is go back into the root directory and use the script that we got again. Let me see. I copy the script again. I put it in here and now what we're going to want to do is we want to choose number two. Now what we need to do is to put in our polygon address. It first asks us, have you gone into the, your web UI of your profile miner and configured the forwarder? So have you set the server IP address? Yes, we have done so. Now we need to put in our polygon address. I will quickly copy this, put it in here. And when we now take a look into the 
app things ix and we take a look into the gateways and we click on onboard we should see our new gateway there it is i click on add i select zero slippage onboard one gateway i accept it and here we go everything else is the same for every single hotspot you need to set a certain location a height and a dbi for your antenna thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel